All right, YouTube, it's time for the occult video 62 on the zodiacs and astrology in a more general sense. Now, I wanted to make a video for this specific thing because I've made a video on the subject of like fortune tellers, tarot card stuff, Ouija boards, how that's mostly fraud, it's mostly charlatans, or it's people that, you know, think they honestly do, you know, they're not charging you a bunch of money, but ultimately they think that these things work and, and ultimately they don't really work. Uh, it's all random chance and superstitious hokum. Now, next video will be about the joys of superstition. I don't have a problem with sort of the folkish side of that, you know, blowing, blowing petals, uh, pl plucking petals off the flower, blowing the dandelion out, and telling a fortune or, or something like that. That being said, zodiacs are a little bit different. Whenever you're regarding the movement of celestial bodies, the time of year, and I think it has more to do with just the time of year and the effects upon Earth, as the result of climactic change. That is winter and summer, dry season, wet season, different crops become available and so forth. It has more to do with that than any absolute, oh, you're reigned over by the power of Venus and therefore you're this. Mars influenced you in, in the second house and so it has this effect. I don't believe specifically in that. What I am saying though, is that if you understand the more modern sense of biology, we're beginning to learn that environment does impact genetics. That is, specifically, it impacts the expression of genetics. It also certainly uh, changes a person's psychological outlook. Now, I do fit the description of an Aquarius very, very well. Um, so I can't say that it's inaccurate with regards to the way I live my life, the way I think, the way I act. I can't, because it's almost exact. Uh, I've met other people for which their signs, uh, an uncannily large number, for which their personality and their actions and their thoughts and their beliefs are so closely in line with the description of what that person would be according to a zodiac that I thought about it for a while and I said, well, obviously it's planetary influence and in all these things has nothing to do with what I'm seeing. What I think is happening is that within one region, you know, you would, you know, most of the people that I would talk to in real life, they're from this general area, or they're at least from the United States. They're from the same general climactic region. I know that there are differences, obviously, between like Florida and New York, but it's certainly not going to be as pronounced as between, you know, Florida and the Amazon or something like that. I'm sorry, Florida and like the Sahara, Florida and the Amazon would be kind of similar. Uh, I think that it has to do with available sunlight and darkness. It has to do with temperature, it has to do with precipitation, it has to do with what allergens are in an area, and all of these things being fixed, and they're really, what they're doing is influencing the expression of somebody's genetics. Now, they're not changing your genes, but look at epigenetics. We know that genes are or are not expressed according to external stimuli. It's not an actual genetic change, it's the change in the expression of the genetics by protein creation, essentially, or protein non-creation. Uh, that is that the the sort of things that come from genetics are changed or they're manipulated in some way or they're shut off or they're turned back on as a result of the, the surroundings, as a result of these things. And in early childhood especially. Now somebody born under one sign is being born under a specific month. Somebody born on a different sign is being born under a different month. Now if you took peop two people and you fixed for everything about them except the time of year they were born, so that everything else was as equal as you could make it, I do believe that they would show a marked difference in various parts of their personality. Now, of course, we can't fix for these things. We can't conduct that kind of experiment. It's far too complex uh, for us to recreate without going well over ethical borders and having sort of that age-old question, what if you took a kid and you had him raised by monkeys, so we're going to take this kid, put him in an enclosure, no human contact, and just sort of feed him through a tube and see what happens, see if this being is capable of, of language, is capable of cognition and so forth. Sort of uh, the unethical question there. <clears throat> I do believe, though, that the time of year that a person is born under has an effect on them. What specifically that effect is beyond having some sort of effect we can't necessarily register. That being said, I do find it slightly odd that so many people that I have personally met do appear to their their personality and actions do coincide with their signs do i chalk it up to direct celestial influence no 
Do I chalk it up to divine influence? <laughs> no, because I don't have a god. Uh, that being said, something I believe, based on the number of accounts anecdotally that I've witnessed, uh, I believe that something is going on there. I, ch I can chalk it up to the strictly secular, say it's just epigenetics, just gene expression. Even then, though, this does, in a roundabout way, prove that these things are in some cases realistic. Now, it's not objective, it's not all the time. It's not like just because you're born under one sign means you will have these characteristics. And even within astrology, of course, the fact that you're born under a sign isn't the only thing at play. There's also uh, different cycles that overlap onto that main cycle that influence it further. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with this. Uh, and this is, if you're going more in depth than just, you know, your, your daily horoscope as the result of when you were born, uh, it becomes a lot more mathematical. It becomes a lot more convoluted, uh, and it would require a great deal of effort to directly study. That being said, anybody can cast a horoscope. Fairly simplistic. Um, but yes, as far as zodiacs go, they're a little bit different from sort of the charlatan stuff, and you get to realize most of the people that are doing like horoscopes in astrology, they're not getting paid for it. You know, you read the horoscope in the paper, you just happen to buy the paper. The horoscope's there for free for you to read, essentially. You can get them online for free. There's a million different people offering them. Every self-proclaimed astrologer is offering them in some way, shape, or form. Uh, that being said, that is one part that, yeah, they're vaguely written on purpose. Uh, they're fairly generic. They apply to multiple scenarios in order to make sure that people say, oh, wow, this is so accurate. Well, not really. It's sort of like the psychic show person stuff, uh, as opposed to the Zodiac itself, uh, including the Chinese Zodiac. Uh, I, I believe that there is, generally speaking, something happening there with gene expression, uh, with psychological development. It doesn't really matter how you frame it. Something I believe I don't claim an objective truth here, of course, is, is going on. That's about all. Peace out.